As we've been watching, problems with the global supply chain have affected now nearly every sector of the economy. Now, Americans preparing to celebrate the 4th of July may find increased prices on the fireworks aisle or their cities canceling fireworks displays altogether. Stephanie Sai has that story. The booms of July 4th fireworks have gone bust in many American cities. So we're not doing fireworks this year, uh, basically due to supply chain issues. Mayor Corey Woods of Tempe, Arizona, says they realized a few months ago that the city's marquee fireworks extravaganza would be a no-go. We actually checked with several suppliers, and none of them could actually guarantee that we would have them in time for the show. Fireworks displays around the country are the latest casualty of a combination of economic problems. With fuel prices skyrocketing, importing fireworks has gotten very expensive, says president of the National Fireworks Association, Steve Hauser. It honestly costs in a lot of cases more to ship the goods here than it does to buy the goods. OK, so where it used to be that, you know, freight was a percentage or a fraction of the cost of the item, now it's half of the cost of the item or more. Most professional grade fireworks come from China, which was until recently still in the grips of pandemic lockdowns. This spring, the American Pyrotechnics Association warned the industry to prepare for a challenging season. Since 2019, shipping costs have risen from eight to $10,000 to nearly $45,000 per shipping container. And across the fireworks industry, overall costs have increased by 35%. And that's as demand for those backyard fireworks, like sparklers and bottle rockets, have increased since the pandemic. And that huge demand came in while we were still struggling through the international shipping issues. Um, so really, it's, it's kind of a function of demand was exceeding supply. Um, and that's really why they're seeing some empty shelves and, and also why they're seeing some of those prices go up. Stephen Pelkey is the CEO of Atlas Pyrovision Entertainment, a family-owned fireworks company in New Hampshire. He says in the last year, he's thought about how to cut transportation costs. Many of those things are making adjustments for how we deliver our products, uh, how many trucks we use, when we deliver it, coming up with the most cost-effective way of the routing of these trucks so we're not having to consume as much fuel. Another problem facing Pelkey's business is a shortage of pyrotechnicians. We lost about 15% of our technicians that were highly qualified uh, that are no longer in this industry. In Tempe, Arizona, the mayor says even in the absence of fireworks, the show must go on. We're doing a flume show instead at Tempe Beach Park on July 3rd. What's a flume? Ah, so a, a flume is really kind of awesome. It's a sort of display of massive lotus flowers that will float in Tempe Town Lake and they will shoot flames about 30 feet into the air, uh, sort of accompanied with music. He says it may even be the start of a new July 4th tradition, but at least this year expects a fraction of the usual crowd to show. For the PBS NewsHour, I'm Stephanie Sy.